Here we are looking at the breast tumor, which is composed of invasive glandular, tubular, and duct-like structures. These invasive ductal structures are surrounded by the fibrous stroma. The cells have round oval-shaped nuclei with vesicular chromatin and quite prominent nucleoli. These cells create duct-like structures and sometimes also cribriform structures. And uh, this is the typical appearance of the ductal carcinoma of the breast, which should be called now adenocarcinoma of no special type or adenocarcinoma NST. We always need to grade this tumor uh, based on the histomorphological features. And we use the architecture. Uh, the well-differentiated tumor uh, tumors have a more tubular component and less solid component. We need to count mitotic figures and uh, the appearance of the nuclei um, is also quite important. So we commonly use Nottingham grading system. We also need to run immunohistochemistry for estrogen and progesterone receptors and for HER2. Um, and the results are quite important for the subtyping of this tumor. Ductal adenocarcinoma of the breast is the most common invasive breast cancer, and it is the diagnosis per exclusion. Technically, we need to exclude all the special type carcinomas. Ductal carcinoma in situ is a common precursor lesion. Thanks for watching.